And what's going on guys, uh, Kale here coming at you with a, another little video. This one is going to be kind of how I am planning to do a cloak and dagger with their unlocks and just basically my method, I guess, that I'm planning to do this. So we'll kind of talk uh, two things. Um, first and foremost, we'll talk the easier aspect, um, which is going to be unlocking them with your wallet. Um, that is always the easiest way to unlock a character with scope leaf. Um, so, and I kind of want to talk about the way that you're going to want to, you know, essentially be doing this. So, Scopely has kind of already been very confusing with Cloak and Dagger and just the way that these strike passes are supposed to be working. Um, they sent some clarification out, and I just wanted to kind of, I guess, further clarify. So, essentially, while you can choose to kind of unlock either character... The first strike pass is more geared towards cloak, and the second strike pass is going to be more geared towards dagger. And the reasoning behind that is because you do have these cloak shards in the beginning. So you've got the 10 there, another 10 here, which brings you up to 20, and then you've got 30 and 40. So you've got 40 cloak shards, and then the remaining 60 shards that you would need, you're gonna get through these luminous credits. And um, basically each one of these is worth five, uh, essentially 10 shards. So you've got another 10, uh, 20 here, and then there's three more of those. So there is um, 30, 40, and over here is 50 and 60. So that'll get you enough to unlock Cloak. And then they've also mentioned that basically the Dagger one is going to be identical. So you'll have these Luminous Credits. And then instead of having the 40 Cloak Shards at the beginning, there would be Dagger Shards. So if you have not already unlocked Cloak, what I would suggest is... You know, if you haven't bought one of his offers, use this first strike pass as your way to unlock cloak. And you know, if you are doing the, you know, if you are buying the strike pass for the twenty dollars, just do this first pass and get cloak, easy breezy. Um, and then with the second strike pass, you can unlock dagger. And then what I would suggest is, you know, based on red stars that you have for the characters just essentially kind of where you are uh, based off of the two blitzes that we are getting that are going to reward the luminous credits kind of hold on to those until after you unlock dagger and then just kind of make a decision and you know kind of see like who you know do you want to take up um you know i think definitely just from a pure kit standpoint, I believe Dagger is going to be the one you're going to want more stars on, just because Cloak is a more kit-based um, character, where his stats don't matter as much, um, whereas Dagger, a lot of her damage is more based off of her stats, and the higher stars she has, obviously the better her stats are. Now, that's obviously the easy way, you know, break out your wallet call it a day. Um, now, to get a little bit more creative, and if we are looking at doing this on a free-to-play aspect, um, I've been thinking about this a little bit, and I want to say I think I have a method. Um, a lot of it is going to be somewhat speculation, just because we don't know how many Luminous credits we are going to receive for the two Blitzes, and that's going to be kind of the big um, deciding factor. So, in order to kind of straight unlock one of these characters um, just from the Luminous Orbs, um, you get basically five character shards um, per Luminous Orb. So, you know, 2,000 Luminous Orbs, you need 100 shards. So, you know, just looking at that real quick, obviously you need to pull 20 of these. Um, so when we are looking at that, just doing some easy breezy math, um, essentially you need 40,000 luminous credits. So there is a possibility that you can unlock both of the characters, um, but it would be a little tricky. And what I mean by that is one of the characters you are going to need to unlock through the strike pass. So basically if you go the free route, you get 50 shards. And um, 
you know, you would then basically be 50 shards short, um, or, you know, um, cutting in half, you'd be 20,000 of these luminous credits short. So with that being said, if there's some way in the blitz, um, that is going to reward up to 20,000 luminous credits, that is going to be the way to unlock free to play. Um, but it is very dependent on what that blitz looks like. And unfortunately, we won't know how that blitz is going to be structured until next week. Um, that blitz is not set to go live until the 23rd. But if that is the case, you can get your 50 cloak shards here. And when that blitz occurs, if you can get 20,000 luminous orbs or credits, I'm not too sure if these are orbs or credits, um, luminous credits. Um, if you can get 20,000 luminous credits with that blitz, you can then unlock cloak. And then you would just have to repeat and do the same thing with dagger. You'd get your 50 free to play dagger shards from the event. And then on the second pass through on that blitz, so that would be September 30th, um, you would need another 20,000 luminous credits. So that is the way to possibly do both of them free to play. Like I said, though, it's going to really depend on what that reward structure looks like. If that's not the case, um, you're definitely going to have to make some hard decisions and kind of decide which character is more important to you and which character you think is going to help you, I guess, more long term and wait until the other one becomes farmable. Um, so I, what I would suggest is if the Blitz does not give you the possibility of getting those 20,000 luminous credits to maybe hold off until both strike passes are done and kind of see where you are in your roster. But I think that's going to be it for this um, quick little Blitz and Cloak unlock. Now, personally, um, on Kale here, um, I already do have Cloak unlocked. So... Um, Let's actually pull up Cloak real fast. And this is basically going to be, I guess, essentially a third option for anyone that might have purchased Cloak on one of his early offers. So through this, I will get 40 shards of Cloak and that will put him at 61 shards. So he will be just 20 shy of getting to four stars. So I'm actually probably for myself on Kale um, on this first bl uh, strike pass, actually, I'm going to focus more on dagger. I'd like to get more dagger shards, um, unless, of course, her offer comes out either tomorrow or Friday. But I would like to get dagger unlocked. I would definitely like to kind of test this team out and see how they operate really as a trio. Um, so the sooner I can get dagger unlocked, the better. Um, and then what I will do is with some leftover luminous credits, I will then take cloak to four stars and most likely probably get dagger to four stars as well. But that's my uh, quick little plan for cloak and dagger with their strike pass as well as their upcoming blitz. If y'all have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out. If you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope everyone is having a good week and take it easy.